Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 127, NASDAQ up 12, S&P's off 5.5, gold. Gold contract down $3.60, trading at 1931 an ounce. We have silver down 28 cents, $23.11 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down 26 cents, $88.58 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, down five ticks, trading 110.01. The 30 year down 10 at 119.24 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 79 ticks at 104. Excuse me, folks, 789. The euro is at 107. The yen's at 147. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. I want to show you here when the number the CPI came out this morning, right? You gotta check this out because all the markets moved and you had rejections all over the place. So you take a look at this. We came out at 8 30 this morning. You know, you had the SPs shoot all the way down to this uh 4-4. 9.5, it says, nope, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stay there. It gets all the way back up to um, 45.30. Right now, we're trading at 45.08. So we're going to the SPY. We're going to the SPY next, and what you're going to see inside the SPY is that the bottom line is that, yeah, you know, you get lower price, and, you know, you get an even volume, man. I mean, you know, what, what we did have yesterday is that we had light volume yesterday, but volume did come in at the close. You can see that 67 million. Now, you're going against 83, as well as 70. You know, so we'll see what ends up happening at the close today, because they, they threw some volume in at the close. We go to the Qs. Let's go to the NQs first. You're going to see the same setup. This, this market, the correlations in this market right now are amazing. You know, there's the, you know, the NDX. Number first come out, goes all the way down to the 15. 406, just taste, you know, was there for a second, bang, all the way up to 15,619, okay? So you got 210, 15, 210 points. And right now we're trading up uh, 16 points, 15,517. We go to the Qs. You take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup in the Qs. You know, you get 37 million today. Yesterday we did 41, so that, that has some volume, you know, but it looks like the Qs basically want to close above this, uh, we're at 373.34. It looks like they want to close above the low of yesterday, which is the 372.50. Notes and bonds. Now watch this one. Uh, why'd you see what this, the note and bond market did, man? Holy cow, this is, this dove, this took a deep dive, man. Look at that deep dive. It took a deep dive to 109.03. And you're at 110.01. Now, that's a full point for the 10 year, which is almost unheard of, folks, okay? And, you know, but the bottom line, that's what it is. And we take a look at this. What you're going to see is that, you know, you get a rejection of lower price. You broke, was it 09? Yeah, you broke the, the lower swing. Um, but guess what? Well, here, yeah, you know, let me show you this, because that was still going into. 200 and something. What is this one here? Well, that was 900. The strength was 2.7 2 million. So you went to that, blew it all away, and then see, you don't want to be a, took off topside. The 10 year right now is yielding 4.23. The high is 4.33. Is that for the year or two? Yeah, it is, 4.33. We take a look at the 30-year. 
So third year, did the same thing. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Third year goes down to 118.08. You trade now 119.25. Same type of setup. But third year didn't break, break the low. You know, they want higher price, man. That's the bottom line. Oh, and here, you got to watch gold. This was, like, amazing. So gold got down to 1927. It's trading, then it went up to 1935. It's trading 1931. We take a look at this right now. Yeah, and it's still going against right there. We're going against the strength. And that strength, so we get 152,000 contracts, and you're going against 170,000 and 167,000. And we know we're going now. Where are we going? <laughs> this this one blows. You know, it, this is it's been it's it's so cool, man. It's actually blowing my mind, but. You know, the, the correlation is so amazing. And I don't know what the market's waiting for. I mean, I know what the market's waiting for. It's the market's waiting for what the heck is this dollar going to do? Because this is the magic number, man. I mean, it's a magic number, too. And you don't see this too often. I've, I've seen it, you know, maybe once or twice. I've seen it probably more than that. But this 104, 699 is a magic number, folks. You know, above it, bottom line, Market wants lower price. Below it, market's going to explode topside. So right there, you know, the bulls and bears are fighting every single day. You know, we got below it again today. That's when the, you know, the S&Ps were higher. As soon as that starts going up again, S&Ps go lower. So it's a, it's a total direct relationship. Um, pretty amazing. And it is what it is. So you can, we, we know we're going to get the break one way or the other. The, the amazing part is that the market has just stalled here also, even with the CPI. The CPI, you know, one-tenth of a percent, it, it, it shook it off in about a second. That's what was pretty amazing. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 134. You get the Nasdaq up four. S&P's down seven. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs> 